The human body has a wide range of movement. Much of this movement results from the skeletal system and muscular system working together. Strong connective tissues called tendons attach muscles to bone, and ligaments attach bone to bone. However, there are several other functions of the connective tissue. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's talk about connective tissue. Connective tissue is the most frequently found tissue in the body. It has several functions. It encloses and separates organs. It stores nutrients. It provides internal support for organs. It attaches muscle to bones and bones to each other. It transports key and nutrients and it stores energy. There are three elements of connective tissue, ground substance, fibers, and cells. Ground substance consists of large molecules, which are abbreviated GAGs, which link together to form even larger molecules. However, 90% of ground substance is made up of water and fills the space between fibers and cells. In bone, the ground substance includes minerals, and in blood, the ground substance is plasma. Fibers. These fibers provide strength, elasticity, and support. The principal fiber type is collagen. And finally, cells. However, the cells of connective tissue is different than epithelial in that they are not directly attached to one another. The fibers and ground substance combined is called the matrix. Cells of connective tissues end as follows. Blasts produce matrix, site per maintain matrix, and class destroy matrix. Let's take a look at this chart to learn about the different types of connective tissue. There are three major types, connective tissue proper, supporting connective tissue, and fluid connective tissue. Connective tissue proper has two kinds, loose connective tissue and dense connective tissue. Loose connective tissue functions to support and hold tissues and organs in place. They are found around organs and, it also, and is also the fat layer between the skin and muscle. Dense connective tissue are ligaments and tendons. Ligaments attach bone to bone and tendons attach muscle to bone. Next, we have supporting connective tissue, like cartilage. Cartilage provides strength and flexibility while resisting wear, and it also cushions and shock absorbs where bones meet. Bones have several functions. They provide the framework and strength for the body. They help with movement. They store calcium. They have blood-forming cells, and they also create white blood cells. And finally, fluid connective tissue. First is blood. It has many functions, including transporting oxygen and carbon dioxide and nutrients around the body, and they also contain white blood cells. And lymph is a clear fluid that contains white blood cells that is created when blood leaks out of arteries, veins, and capillaries. If you'd like to know more about connective tissue, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.